Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and welcome to a Mill Analysis video on my channel. Today's Mill Analysis video is Bolton Wanderers versus Millwall and well it was a game that just didn't go in Millwall's favour. Last time we played Bolton we lost 2-0 at the den so this game went in similar fashion except for them, we only had one shot on target. Pretty disappointing. So let's get into what actually happened in this game. So the first important talking point was in the 17th minute as Bolton Wanderers got their first goal. What happened here was Zach Lowe Crossed the ball into the area. It was met by Jay Spearin, whose shot was blocked by Byron Webster. For that, just to be knocked away slightly by Fred, and literally that was disappointing. As what happened here was Josh Vayer hit it on the half volley, spectacularly beating Jordan Archer. And that was his fourth goal of the season. He didn't look like a player that had only scored four goals. That was an amazing strike by Vayer there. Liam Trotter then thought he had made it to against the club he had formerly played against. Obviously, he used to play for Millwall after signing from Ipswich Town. What happened here was the ball fell to him, he was unmarked, and he turns it into the back of the net. However, the linesman said it was offside, and thankfully, we got away with that one. It's not nice to see former players scoring against you, because it really causes issues. Then, another Millwall, or former Millwall player, should I say, had a shot and it was Mark Beavers. He broke down the pitch. He then dribbled past and through the defence, beating Marlon Romeo before having his shot slenderly saved by one of his former teammates, Jordan Archer. And I'm not going to kid it in here. Mill literally didn't do much, but the one thing we did do and the one shot on target we had was through Aiden O'Brien. What happened here was he literally had a hopeful shot and it went straight into the gloves of Anwick. I'm not going to lie. Far too easy for him. He could probably do that in his sleep and it really was disappointing there. But as I said, that was the only shot on target that we actually registered. And well, we got away with something very close to the actual half-time whistle. Because what happened here was they hit the crossbar through Jay Spear and Zach Lowe dinked the ball in. And well, it hit the bar, we got away with it and Bolton continued to impress Throughout that time, they really were unlucky not to have extended their lead further. There were so many cases where they were just doing much better than us. Now, into the second half. And in the 57th minute, it was no blindly obvious that they weren't going to score again. Because they got their goal through a corner. We can't defend set pieces. There's not really too much to a judge here. But Jay Spearin put it in and it went onto the head of Tom Fop, who's on one from Rotherham. And his header just went straight into the back of the net. It was clear to see that he wanted it a bit more than us, I'm not going to lie. And despite Ben Thompson trying to clear it off the line, that just didn't happen. And as I said, that was Tom Forbes' first goal since joining from Rotherham on loan. There was one more important chance in this game, and it actually came from Millwall, believe it or not. Marlon Romeo actually put the ball into the area after receiving it back from Ben Thompson. That then met with the head of Harry Smith, whose attempt was narrowly wide. Now, into the key players, and well, it was pretty easy to pick Bolton's, but kind of hard to find who I'd say was for Millwall. So, for Bolton, it was Zach Lowe. I think that he was their main attacking threat, creating a lot of opportunities, and had the post not denied Jay Spearin, then he would have gone ahead and got an assist in a game where he really did run the show. Very unlucky there. Very, very good future ahead of him if he continues playing that way, can I just add. And for Millwall, Harry Smith would have to be our player. Now, it's not just because I'm a Harry Smith fanboy, but it's because despite him being so inexperienced, I mean, this is his literal third game for Millwall. And he's still playing like he's one of our better players. And it's just a game that didn't go in our favour. So it's too hard to see whether he actually was genuinely terrible or it was just a bad day for everyone. To be honest, I expect it was a bad day for everyone. It just didn't go our way. So, for the next game, obviously, we're playing AFC Wimbledon, where you see the former player Paul Robinson return to the den. That will be an interesting one. Cannot wait to see it. But until then, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And, of course, I will see you guys in that analysis video. But until then, goodbye.